welcome, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you how to play Wii, GameCube and even N64 games natively on your Quest, that is without any PC connection required. There will be timestamps in the description below in case you want to skip to a certain part and I'll release a video shortly showing you how to play these same games but in full 360 virtual reality. Now that method if you do own an Oculus Quest requires a link to the PC so you need to be able to link your Quest to the PC and able to experience full virtual reality but that video will be coming soon and I'll link it out in the comment section below when that's done. And I have a ton of other content on my channel, so do check that out. And if you want to be kept up to date with the latest videos and help keep my channel going, then hit subscribe and click that notification bell. So let's check it out. Now first I'll showcase some of the games I played. This is House of the Dead 2 on the Wii. Now I played this by holding down the trigger on the Oculus controller and using it like a light gun. And then in my left hand I have a Bluetooth Xbox controller connected to my Quest. And when I want to fire I just press a button on that controller to shoot. Now this game runs okay. There is some lagging and jogging and particularly with the more graphically intensive scenes. So you're going to find those GameCube and Wii ROMs range from games which are almost unplayable to those games that actually run almost perfect. Now Smash Brothers worked quite well as did Super Mario Sunshine. And you can also play N64 games, although the Dolphin emulator doesn't officially support them, you can get some cracked N64 games that work on the GameCube. So here I am playing Star Fox and it works really well. And you can even crack the N64 ROMs yourself. I have a link down in the description below that guides you on how to do this. Now I'll take you through how to play these games. You want to download Dolphin MMJ. This is the latest version and it's a .apk file that you can sideload onto your Quest. Don't download this version that you see here. This doesn't have a great user interface, plus it crashes when you try to open the user interface when you're playing the game. Now, you just sideload it using SideQuest. I have a link to a guide on SideQuest in the description below. Once you sideloaded it, make sure you run the emulator first. Then you connect your Quest to your PC. You open it, go into internal storage, and just make a ROMs folder. So this ROMs folder will obviously contain your ROMs for Wii and GameCube and any cracked N64 ROMs that you have too. So these ISO files here are my ROMs. So when you go in, you can just select that plus button. You select your ROMs folder, click OK, and your ROMs should come up. Now I'm going to take you through the settings that I have on this emulator. I'm not saying these are the best settings, but I found them to work for the games that I've been playing. And so these are the settings that I'm using, but it's well worth checking out other forums and videos just to get a better idea of what these settings do. So while you're looking at my settings here, I'm just going to mention a few things. Like I say, I'm not an emulation expert. If you have questions about this, I'll try my best to answer. But to be honest, I've just got this stuff from looking at the internet, Googling a few videos and finding out what worked for a lot of people. But one thing I did notice is that there's a lot of differing opinion out there. And so sometimes it comes to just testing out games and testing out different settings for yourself. Now, the other thing is don't expect ROMs to run perfectly. Like I said, some run better than others. And sometimes it's due to the limitations of the quest. Sometimes it's just the compatibility of that ROM with the emulator and sometimes there is a setting you can change that will make it run better. But like I say, don't go in expecting perfect emulation cause likely you're not going to get it. And I'll add, if you're playing N64 ROMs, I might suggest that this is probably not the easiest way to do it. I'll download something like a RetroArch, for example, um, that has N64 emulators and you can play the ROMs in their native form. You don't have to crack them. So that's a lot of easier way to do it. I just want to show you how to do it this way, just to really show you that it can be done if you want. So I'm going to show you now how to play light gun games like House of the Dead. If you go into settings, you go to Wii Input and I've uh, connected an Xbox controller via Bluetooth. So I click on emulated and I set the buttons here. So I save those settings for the controller. Now, if I go into settings again, and I go to toggle controls, I go down to toggle all and that doesn't turn these off. It should, but it's broken. So instead I go to edit layout and that allows me to move these controls right to the bottom left and right hand corners so they're not in the way. And that seems to work just fine. Now I click done 
to set those buttons where they are and then go back into settings i go to config and i make sure touchscreen emulate ir is switched on and there you go i'm ready to play this game using my oculus controller and the uh, xbox controller too now you can also play house of the dead 3 but like house of the dead 2 you get some frame drops it's certainly playable but it's not the best emulation now if you don't know how to connect a bluetooth controller to your quest i have a tutorial on that linked in the description below and in case you're wondering if you can connect a wii controller unfortunately i was not able to do that it found the controller in the bluetooth devices but it just wouldn't connect but that would have been awesome if you could anyway that's it from me i hope you did enjoy this video do like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one